Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at navigating around sites using Django. So from here, let's go into, into here. Let's open up our Django folder. So down into here, select. Um, as you can see, the last thing we looked at was the matrix site. As you can see, the history is all restored inside here. So let's use that one. So let's go, where am I? CD second. Let's run the virtual environment first. Okay, so can script activate then CD second project. Second project. What do we have? Site one. Let's see. Site. Oh, got me. CD dot dot slash site one. There's my managed pi. Let's run this guy up. Python managed pi run server. Okay, so now the server's up and running. So let's click here, take a look at what we had. Cool, so as you can see, the default system isn't working because we haven't modified anything for that, and it's just on the matrix path here. Now, from here, what we might want to do is we want to navigate between potentially different views. So let's create a brand new view. So to do that, let's see. What we want to do is we want to come into our views here and let's create a new function for this. So let's be lazy. Copy that, put that in, do that like so, and we'll change that to say about. All right, so I don't need a comma here. So we're going to create this about system. So we're going to work through this methodically. So let's save that. Now my URLs. Let's see if we go path here. We want to put in about slash comma use dot about comma aim equals about comma okay um, then we want to go to here let's see that's including all the matrix stuff so that looks fine that's our static stuff which is fine that that so let's go into our templates so from here let's create a new file and we'll go about dot html and let's be lazy control a control c Control V, and we'll call this matrix about, and let's, let's remove, so let's save that. Okay, now, we haven't done much, but let's see, if I go to matrix about, ending slash, we have a page up and running. Now, notice to get and navigate here, I've got to use it using the address bar to navigate forwards and backwards not exactly something we want to do so to modify things like this if we go into our index let's put in an a tag like normal so here's our ahref now the path is slash matrix slash about and let's put in about and we better put in some line breaks and save so if we jump into here, refresh, it's a little hidden, but as you can see, it gets us to the right spot. Now, let's go fix that up in our styles as well. So come into our styles, alt Z, let's go to here, let's go to A, let's go font size 1.2M, line height 1.5M, and let's go color gold. And then we'll put in a hover instance. And here we'll just change the color from gold to yellow. So this is a slight difference, not too huge of a difference. So we've added that in. We'll jump over. We'll refresh. And as you can see, now we get this little slice here. So the reason it works is because all of our navigation is dealing with what's occurring in the address bar. So when I click on about, 
it changes to matrix and about. So now we've got to make one coming back. So if we go to the about page, let's cheat. I'll take a copy of that. And straight under the H1, put it here. Now in this particular case, we don't need the slash about, we just need that. And we can put, um, yeah, we can just put home. Now, in a non-Django site, this leading slash, make sure you do not use it. But for Django, make sure it's there because it's going to help you navigate up and down certain links. Okay, so we put that in, we've saved it. Let's jump over, refresh, and now I should be able to navigate between these two particular pages, no problem. Now, this is a good thing when we're dealing with just one app with multiple views. Sometimes we want to have multiple apps in a site. So what we want to do here is let's stop our server. So control C. Uh, let's, yep, that's our manage. Let's clear that up. CLS. Here, let's add a brand new app to the system. Okay, so that was the matrix. Let's go with Python manage.py. And what we want to do is we want to go start app. And let's call it vector okay so now if we close this off a little bit templates there's our new site vector here from here we want to run through the same things that we did before but let's make it a little quicker so let's close all of these up here so close all from our views we'll take a copy of that go into vector views paste and we're not going to render out pages. We'll just get some text up and running. So from here, we'll return that, we'll delete that, and we'll remove that. Save. Now, what else does Vector need? Vector needs this URLs as well. So what we can do is we can take a copy of that, and then we can paste it in here and go, all right, we don't need the about path. Cool, the rest of it we can keep. There is one more thing we need to modify as well, and that's inside our site. That's the URLs here, so it actually knows that vector exists. Control C, Control V, and we change it to vector. Save. Now, what we've done is pretty much what we did when we very first started. We just did it really, really quickly. We created a new site app, We've put in a little bit of text, nothing too exciting. Now let's see if it worked. So we run up our server again, didn't crash, always a good sign. Let's go into here and let's change from matrix to vector. And there we go, we now got our index here. So if we're on the matrix side, which I've just jumped back to, matrix, let's come down to our, here we go. It's got our index. Let's throw this in. If I want to go to vector from here, what I would do is I would eliminate that and put in vector. And we save it like that. So we're still just using the simple pathing here. So we jump in, we refresh, there's my vector link. Click on it, that's taking me to the vector site. So that's how we can navigate between different apps and different pages in Django.